Example one on properties of fluids. Identify, determine, give, or compute, or convert the following. The two most abundant properties of a flowing fluid are its density and blank. Convert 12.3 PSI to kilopascals and in kilogram per square meter. In general, the viscosity of a liquid decreases with an increasing temperature, while for gases, it is the opposite. Is this statement correct? What do you call to a property of a fluid with a popular unit of Stokes? How many dynes are there in one Newton? So for the first question, the two most, most important properties of a fluid, fluid are its density and, of course, viscosity. Convert 12.3 PSI to kilopascals and in kilogram per square meter. So 12.3 PSI. Let's use the conversion 101.3 kilopascals, which is equivalent to 14.7 PSI. But you have to look for this in the second lecture video on pressure because atmospheric pr standard atmospheric pressure is 101.325, but you can use 101.3 and it is equivalent to 14.7 PSI. So that's why the pressure is... 84, 12.3 PSI is 84.76 kilopascals. In general, the viscosity of a liquid decreases with increasing temperature. Of course, the viscosity is affected by increasing temperature, so it will decrease. While for gases, it is the opposite because the molecules of a gas become very wild, that they are very dynamic and they keep on colliding with each other, which causes uh, friction and therefore the viscosity increases when the temperature increases for gases. So the answer is yes. For kilogram per square meter, so pound per square inch, one kilogram 2.205 pounds, then times 12 inches, one foot, then times quantity square, because this is inches square, then 3.281 feet per meter quantity square. One meter is 3.281 feet. So using the calculator, 12.3 PSI is 8,647 kilogram per square meter. Then answer to number three is yes. The statement is correct. What do you call to a property of a fluid with the popular unit of Stokes? It is the kinematic viscosity. Where one Stoke is one centimeter square per second or 10 to the negative 4 square meter per second. How many dynes are there in one newtons? One dyne is one gram centimeter per second square. That's the unit of a dyne. So, 1 newton is 1 kilogram times meter per second square. 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams, 1 meter, 100 centimeters. So, therefore, 1 newton is 100,000 gram times centimeter per second square. And because this is dynes, so 1 newton is 100,000 dynes. So, that's it for this first example.